Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Today in this third video of stock level topic of material costing chapter, we are going to solve our second problem of this series. And this question is from ICI study material illustration six. Okay, but now before solving this problem, let me just tell you what we have done so far in the previous two videos, which you definitely have to watch. I will put the link in the description below. So see here in the first video, we have discussed the concept of stock levels, right? What are stock levels? It's nothing but just a method of inventory control where we set quantitative stock levels, such as we have a reorder level, when to order, reorder quantity, how much to order, maximum stock level, how much maximum you should stock your inventory and then minimum stock level. Yeah. How much minimum you should have to keep. Yeah. And then average stock level the stock that is normally kept throughout the year and then danger stock level danger stock level means it's a level below the minimum level and if your stock reaches at danger stock level that means you have to make an emergency purchase right and you have to stop all the normal issues you have to just issue on the emergency requirement is that clear yeah and then we have buffer stock buffer stock means hidden stock that you have kept something aside okay to mitigate a sudden demand is that clear yes and then with the help of this graph i have explained everything you know logically yeah please watch the first video all right and then there are formulas also yes i will just show you yeah reorder stock level we have two formulas one is maximum consumption into maximum lead time and then the second formula is minimum stock level plus average consumption into average lead time now you have to understand mostly this formula is used yeah but if minimum stock level is given to you in the question then you have to use this second formula all right and then reorder quantity means eoq economic order quantity okay 2 ao divided by c yeah 2 into annual demand into ordering cost divided by carrying cost per unit per annum fine that's the eoq formula and you have to take a root of that and then you have minimum stock level reorder level minus average consumption into average lead time and then maximum stock level where what do you do you take the reorder level plus reordering quantity minus reordering quantity means this only reorder quantity eoq fine so plus roq minus minimum consumption into minimum lead time clear easy then after this we have average inventory level average inventory level is very easy see here minimum stock level plus half of roq yes and then there is one more formula for average stock level what do you do you take the maximum stock level and minimum stock level and just take an average just divide them by two fine and then danger level formula is average consumption into lead time for emergency purchase right if you're purchasing on emergency you have to pay something extra then they will deliver you uh, the inventory very soon okay Right. So that's lead time for emergency purchase and then buffer stock. Yeah, there is no formula for buffer stock. It is just a theoretical concept. All right. Yes. So that was the quick recap. And then in the second video, what we have done in the second video, we have solved a simple problem of stock level. See here. Right. Just a simple problem. Fine. So now let's get back to the third video and let's just solve the question from the ICS study material. Now, see here we have the question illustration six from the ICS study material. Let's read the question now from the details given below calculate reordering level, maximum level, minimum level, danger level, four levels they have asked. Fine. Reordering quantity is to be calculated on the basis of following information. All right. See here while calculating reordering level and maximum level, we need ROQ reordering quantity Yeah, in the formula. We need that it's not given over here directly. You will have to calculate. Okay, they have given you the details here cost of placing a purchase order rupees 20 ordering cost per order and then number of units to be purchased during the year is 5000. This is the annual demand purchase price per unit inclusive of transportation cost is rupees 50. This is what this is the purchase price. Okay. But now we don't need the purchase price because see here they have not said that holding cost or the carrying cost is a percentage of purchase price yeah they haven't said that they have directly given you the carrying cost per unit per annum see here annual cost of storage per unit is rupees five yeah really simple and then they are saying details of lead time 
average 10 days maximum 15 days minimum 5 days okay all the lead times are given to you which we will have to use in the formulas emergency lead time is also given yes because we have to calculate danger level now so we need emergency purchase lead time that is four days and then rate of consumption yeah rate of usage or rate of consumption we say average 15 units per day maximum 20 units per day now just understand here they have not given you minimum consumption isn't it they have just given you maximum and average consumption so minimum consumption will have to calculate yeah because in maximum stock level formula we need minimum consumption isn't it yes so we'll have to calculate so now let's start with the reordering level yeah what is reordering level at what level we have to reorder is that clear yes so let's see the formula of reorder level see here reorder level is equal to maximum consumption into maximum lead time this is the first formula the second formula is minimum stock level but in this question here they have not given you minimum stock level isn't it you have to calculate that so that is why we can't use the second formula okay we'll just use the first formula right maximum consumption into maximum lead time so just check the question do we have maximum consumption yes of course see here 20 units per day and then maximum lead time maximum lead time is also given that is 15 days isn't it so really simple reorder level is equal to maximum consumption into maximum lead time that's equal to 20 into 15 that's 300 units okay so when your stock will reach at 300 units what you have to do you have to place a fresh order so from reorder level you get to know at what quantity at what level do i have to reorder is it clear yes fine and then we have to calculate what maximum level what's the formula of maximum level let's just see maximum level formula is maximum stock level see here it is the highest level of quantity for any material which can be held in stock at any time yes we know that let's just see the formula maximum stock level is equal to reorder level okay we have just calculated it's 300 units plus reorder quantity reorder quantity means eoq so this is not given in question we'll have to calculate now and then minimum consumption this is also not given in the question yeah minus minimum consumption right so minimum consumption is not given in the question we'll have to calculate into minimum lead time minimum lead time is given see here minimum lead time is five days isn't it yes so that's fine so from here first we'll have to calculate two things one is reorder quantity and then minimum consumption so let's just do that fine see here reorder quantity yeah eoq formula you will have to use yeah square root of 2ao divided by c 2 into annual demand into ordering cost divided by carrying cost per unit per annum fine so annual demand is 5000 ordering cost is 20 2 into 5000 into 20 see here 2 into 5000 into 20 divided by carrying cost per unit per annum which is directly given to you yeah just do that yeah if you do then you get 40,000 as the answer but once you root it you will get 200 units okay so what does this mean it means when your stock reaches at 300 units you will have to place a new order you got to know that with reorder level but then reorder quantity is saying that how much to order it is saying you will have to order 200 units then only your holding cost and you know uh, ordering cost will be minimum is it clear do you want to see the calculation see here this is simple not 2 into 5000 into 20 divided by 5 that's 40000 so just root of 40000 is how much 200 units is it clear simple and straightforward fine now after this we have to calculate what as i said minimum consumption is not given yeah reorder quantity we calculated just now it's 200 units minimum consumption we have to calculate so let's calculate that okay see here it's really simple see <clears throat> maximum stock level is equal to reorder level plus reorder quantity minus minimum consumption into minimum lead time now reorder level is 300 yeah we just calculated that isn't it here 300 units and then 
pre-order quantity also we calculated it's 200 yeah 200 and then minimum consumption I got 10 how did I get that let's see there is a formula for average consumption you all know that yeah in the previous video we have seen maximum consumption plus minimum consumption divided by 2 simple common sense formula maximum plus minimum divided by 2 you got average consumption so just use this formula and find out the missing figure that's the minimum consumption okay just flip the formula so 15 is equal to 20 isn't it see here average consumption is 15 maximum is 20 just input those values 15 20 divide by 2 and then calculate the missing figure yeah 2 into 15 that's 30 and then 20 plus minimum consumption and then minimum consumption is equal to 30 minus 20 that's 10 units clear simple and straightforward so you got 10 units as minimum consumption minimum usage also we call it consumption usage is same thing fine into minimum lead time minimum lead time is given over here see minimum lead time is five days isn't it yes so into five okay so 10 into 5 that's 50 300 plus 200 that's 500 500 minus 50 that's 450 units simple and straightforward now after this we have to calculate what uh, minimum level what's minimum level formula let's see minimum level is equal to let me just show you the uh, conceptual paper also see here minimum stock level it is the lowest level of stock which must be maintained in hand at all times okay minimum stock level reorder level minus average consumption into average lead time reorder level we have calculated first that's 300 units isn't it 300 units so just take that okay 300 units minus average consumption is given it's 15 isn't it average consumption is 15 and then into average lead time that's 10 days yeah average lead time 10 days so just multiply 15 into 10 that's 150 300 minus 150 that's equal to 150 units so minimum level is 150 units is it clear all right now after the minimum level we have to calculate the danger level right so let's see what's the formula for danger level let me just show you again the conceptual paper yeah the formula sheet it is the level at which normal issues of the raw material inventory are stocked and emergency issues are only made when your stock will reach at danger level what you have to do all the normal issues you have to stop because your stock has gone below the minimum stock level you can't you know just keep on issuing normal issues no if you do that then you will have a stock out your stock will be finished right so you have to be in emergency mode right now you just have to make emergency issues yeah and then you have to raise an alarm to make an emergency purchase so that we can get our stock back to at least minimum stock level is it clear so that's why danger level formula you see here average consumption into lead time for emergency purchase right this is the formula average consumption is given in the question isn't it average consumption is 15 so see here average consumption into lead time for emergency purchase 15 into lead time for emergency purchase that's four days so 15 into 4 that's equal to 60 units okay so when your stock will reach at 60 units what you have to do see 60 units are below 150 units isn't it so this is your minimum level but suppose for some reason your stock goes below 150 units it goes to 60 units that means you have to raise an alarm for an emergency purchase and stop all normal issues only emergency issues okay that's your danger level is that clear simple and straightforward okay so now this sum is over it was really simple and straightforward i just wanted to explain with the logic all right yeah so that's all for this video i hope you have understood this yeah if you have any doubts then please comment down below or you can also message me on instagram okay so that's it bye see you in the next video